Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. In our today's video, we are going to talk about some of the plants that can be harmful for your children and pets. And we will also discuss about some of the tips that you can do at home to make sure that your children and pets remain away from these plants. So the first plant on our list is Deffenbachia, which is also known as dumb cane. This plant contains uh, oxalic acid and calcium oxalate crystals in its beautiful leaves. And if your children or pets tend to ingest these leaves, it can cause burning and swelling of the lips, throat and tongue. It can also cause um, difficulty in speaking and swallowing as it can cause temporary paralysis of the tongue and throat. And that is the reason why this plant is known as dumb cane. It can cause other gastrointestinal troubles such as vomiting and diarrhea or nausea as well and can be extremely fatal to small children and pets. The next plant is Golden Pothos, also known as Devil's Ivy or Indian Money Plant. The leaves of this plant also contains calcium oxalate which can cause uh, many gastrointestinal troubles such as vomiting and blisters in the gut and throat. Next is Peace Lily, also known as Pathophyllum. Just like Tefenbachia and Golden Pothos, this plant also contains calcium oxalate crystals which causes the same problems like Pothos. The next plant on our list is English Ivy. English Ivy can cause severe skin irritation, burning in the throat if ingested. In pets, it can cause diarrhea, hyperactivity, vomiting and tremors. The next plant on my list is my favorite which is snake plant or Sansevieria trifasciata and also known as mother-in-law's tongue. This plant contains um, is considered toxic because of the presence of saponins in its leaves which can cause nausea, vomiting and diarrhea in pets and children if ingested in large quantities. The next plant on my list is Syngonium or Arrowhead plants. These plants also considered um, toxic or poisonous uh, because of the same reason, because of the presence of calcium oxalate crystals in its leaves and the sign and symptoms are the same as uh, told before about um, the previous plants. So just be careful uh, when you have this plant around. The next one is my favorite, the Beauty Queen rubber plant, also known as Ficus elastica. These plants give out white milky liquid from its leaves and stem which is used to make latex. Ingesting this milky liquid or even touching it can cause allergic skin reactions or irritation and other gastrointestinal problems. So just be careful when you are dealing with this plant um, to make sure that you do not touch that milky liquid. You can wear gloves or anything and also take care of the children when um, this plant is around so that they don't touch that milky liquid and don't ingest it in any case. The next one is philodendrons or uh, monsteras just like pothos. Philodendrons also contain calcium oxalate crystals in its leaves and which are toxic to humans and children. Next is sago palm. Sago palm is also considered poison, uh, a poisonous plant because each and every part of this plant um, is toxic and even if the children or small animals ingest even, uh, even a small quantity of uh, its leaves or any part of the plant it can be extremely um, harmful for them. Last but not the least caladiums also known as angel wings or elephant ears. These plants come in many different colors um, and varieties. All the parts of this plant are also considered toxic to humans and pets. Ingesting them can cause painful burning, swelling of the mouth, tongue, lips. 
In pets, it can cause drooling, difficulty in breathing, vomiting and nausea. So friends, these were some of the plants um, that uh, are considered poisoning, uh, poisonous um, to children and pets. But my intention of telling you about all these plants is not to scare you that you should not keep these plants in your house or um, they can kill you or something like that. But my intention is just to um, tell you that these plants, you can still enjoy the beauty of these plants in the house if you keep in mind some of the things. So friends, basically the poisoning occurs um, if the leaves or any part of the plant are ingested, such as the berries, blossoms or roots, even the leaves. So it can also happen when the skin comes in contact with the sap or juice of the plant or your child or pet tend to drink water from the plant trays or eat soil um, from the pots. So all these reasons can cause poisoning. So if we take care of all these factors and try to eradicate all these factors, then we can make sure that uh, the poisoning does not happen to your children or pets. So to avoid that, what you can do is, uh, first thing is that you can keep the plants away from the reach of children and pets. You can make use of the furniture such as tables, bookshelves. You can also use plant hangers so that um, it's not reachable. Always make sure that plant trays are dry and there is no debris such as soil or any plant clippings around so that your children and pets cannot reach them. You can also teach your children not to touch the plants. And that is what I have done with my children. I have taught them not to touch any of the plants and even if um, they want to touch, they can help me in watering the plants or cleaning the leaves of the plants. So in that way, the good thing is that your children will love how to care for the plants and they will also learn not to ruin or damage the leaves or any part of the plant. You can also use uh, self-watering pots to protect the plants from molds um, and animals from the toxic water that comes out from the plant um, from the pot in the plant trays. You uh, must also make sure that the hanging pots are sturdy and enough to support the weight of the plant. And also make sure that you um, clip all the winding plants, make uh, make them short so that they, your uh, children or pets cannot reach um, your plants. And the last option is that you can keep the plants that are kids and pets friendly in your home, which is going to be my next video. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe it uh, for my upcoming video on kids and pets friendly plants. And so friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and it was informative to you. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and um, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time with another exciting video. Till then, keep safe and happy gardening. Bye-bye.